Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath, and today we're going to talk about female sex hormones. And the reason we're talking about this, this is because I see many women in clinic these days with hormonal imbalance problems. This can lead to PMS or menopause or many other conditions. And generally speaking, female hormonal problems come in two different categories, either estrogen excess or lack of progesterone. Either way, it's an estrogen dominant condition. And this is often caused by adrenal dysfunction and stress. This is why I always check, test female sex hormones and adrenal function. And the reason stress affects the hormones, it can come in three different ways. It could be from emotional stress like relationships, uh, kids, uh, overwork, or it can come from physical stress like not enough sleep, overtraining, pain or injury, or stress from digestion, uh, food intolerances, eating poor quality foods. Let's have a look at a chart describing how the female sex hormones work. So this is an overview of the normal menstrual cycle. So the brain sends messages to the ovaries telling the, with the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, telling the ovaries to make estrogen or progesterone. Let's look down here at the level D. So in the first half of the cycle, progesterone levels are quite low and estrogen levels start to gradually rise. So just before ovulation, they peak and estrogen is a growth hormone. So this is where the endometrium is growing. And just after ovulation, progesterone levels rise. And this is when we test the hormones because what often happens is with low progesterone, the progesterone levels are low and estrogen's high. And progesterone, as the name suggests, is a progestational hormone. So this, if conception occurs, progesterone levels stay high, but if not, progesterone levels suddenly drop, and that's when menstruation occurs just here, and the cycle grows, goes on again. So with estrogen being a growth hormone, it's great for developing the endometrium, so for, so for implantation of the egg, but can also cause growth of other hormones and tissues. So that can lead to you know, breast cancers, uh, weight gain, fluid retention. So there's a lot of different problems caused by estrogen excess. And low progesterone levels. Progesterone is a precursor for making the neurotransmitter GABA. So if the, if the levels are low here, that can lead to a lot of mood changes, anxiety, memory problems, brain fog, and this is a lot of the PMS symptoms, um, you know, also include low sex drive, poor skin. That's often from low progesterone. High estrogen levels, the symptoms are, a lot of them are similar, weight gain, fluid retention, but also breast tenderness and uh, can lead to fibroids and things like that as women get older. Here is an example of a female sex hormone test. It's important to know when in the cycle the test is done. And ideally it's done between days 19 and 22 of your cycle. So progesterone should be high. It should be the range is 300 to 1500. But ideally in the second half of the cycle, you want to be around the 1000 to 1500 mark. So this person here, they're low, they're down at 312. Testosterone is also high for this person. So it could be an indicator of polycystic ovarian syndrome, but having high testosterone can also make it difficult to lose weight. With estrogen, the range is uh, six to 30, but in this section of the uh, menstrual cycle in the luteal phase, you wanna be less than 18 and ideally around under 10. So having high estrogen compared to progesterone is gonna to lead to a lot of those menstrual cycle symptoms that we just spoke about. The other estrogens are in the range or okay. So it's just mainly E2, which is the stronger of the estrogens, testosterone and progesterone that are all out of balance. So getting a female sex hormone profile can give you a really accurate idea on how to treat. So if these symptoms sound like you, the next step is to get a female sex hormone test and adrenal function test to find out exactly what is happening with your hormones. 
You can order these tests through Planet Naturopath and you can contact me at michael at planetnaturopath.com or go to the website planetnaturopath.com and once we find out your results we'll be able to make a treatment plan which will involve nutritional, herbal, dietary and lifestyle changes. Thank you.